to my very first series of videos, enchantment videos. I'm coming back to Bella as the boss. I have 10 or 13, 14 levels above everything else. And the game thinks I'm just starting. So what I'm doing here, I'm gonna go see the Peller. Notice at the very beginning when I play the harmonica, I'm sharpening my swords. At the top of my screen, you notice the symbol is not losing green. They stay sharp because they're enchanted. Now after this big battle I get into that gives me the fight of my life and all my seven years of the game, I went somewhere I never went before and man did I have a battle. That laugh is nothing. And Aaron is a little biatch. He's nobody. Nothing compared to this. I actually got whacked. They really put the hurt on me. And then on top of that, when I refused to forward to what it, the AI wanted me to do, it killed me. You're going to see it with your own eyes. Now here's what I'm doing with these uh, guys in front of the pillar, so I'm going to kill them. Every person you kill, the faster you rank up. So kill everything now. I've got my cash, I've got my gold. If I need more, I go back to Art Skelly, get some more smuggler cases in the boats, and just keep, keep killing the sirens, keep ranking up. So notice that they're all on the 50 levels. See that, 56, 57? Now, starting the game, I should be at their level. But I went around the game and made my way to Art Skelly, and rated those chests. So now, by killing the sirens, I'm 10 levels above. So as you see, I didn't even put oil on my sword. So this is what it's like. You're gonna come back as the boss. So I went and got better and beat them up. This time, I'm gonna kill the uh, botchlets. I'm gonna kill it. Before, five years ago, a long time, the botchlet would kill me within two or three bites and I had no chance. This time I'm enchanted armor, enchanted swords. I am the boss. I figured out how to bring enchanted gear in the new game plus, nothing's gonna stop me. And by ranking up on hard scaling, I'm 10, 10 levels ahead of everything else. So you're gonna watch this battle. Now I wasn't sure what kind of oil I should put on my blade. What is it? Is it a baby or is it a monster? So I put on the wrong one. When I looted it at the end of this, I did kill it. But watch my armor too. They don't even hurt it. And I'm only wearing my medium armor. I have Grandmaster Ursan armor, top level armor. Top level. But when I killed this thing and I looted it, I saw I had rotting flesh and necrophage hide. So all you guys gotta do if you wanna kill this, this, this uh, botlitch is just load it up with, with uh, necrophage oil and you got a better chance to get your highest silver sword. I'm level 65. The game would give me now a 60, 65 level silver sword and steel sword. I'm, picking, I'm bringing my 36 steel sword, Grandmaster Wooden Sword from uh, Blood and Wine and my Air, Erudite 42 from Blood and Wine. I'm playing New Game Plus with those swords. I'm not getting any new swords. And I'm still putting a hurting on them because I'm enchanted. So I haven't been here doing this in a year. It's been at least a year. I've been busy on Call of Duty Modern Warfare and then the Cyberpunk disaster. So I am, but, but um, Explore asked me to make him a video on New Game Plus because he was a little concerned. I went, shoot, what did I find? So I got all this now. I know how to start this game with enchantment. I am the boss. So I'm gonna make a series of videos. This is the first video of it. Now watch this, you get it. It looks like an all goal now, notice that? You get it down to no health, I'm going to hit it with Igni and blow it up. Because Geralt, my Geralt enchantment, my Wilbur, Wilburn armor, is the eruption. So when I hit him with fire, they're going to blow up. Look at it, didn't even catch on fire, speed a little bit. That's because CDPR did not make the character blow up with the enchantment. The best thing to blow up are men. They go into pieces and all the men around them catch on fire. Now the bear doesn't seem too upset because the last five years I've been letting them there, the uh, Bostick turned into his daughter, and what excuse me, it was a um, bubbling, 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 and he follows ghost. So he's happy about that. Calls a Clara thing. But this time, that little that little beast is dead. So I'm gonna go somewhere I've never gone before in all these playthroughs. I don't know how many hours I have, but I know I have seven years. I got in the, during summer of 2015. 
GameStop for $23. Somebody went, somebody bought it brand new and then turned it in. You will get deals like that again, guys. So I'm going to take, Gerald's going to take the blood back to the pillar. And now I'm going to a new spot in this game I've never been. I know the pros have done this. I've never done it. But I'm coming back as the boss. I'm taking out everything. Okay, so here we go. I'm not playing the dialogue, I'm just ripping right through it. Because now, coming back as the boss and enchanted armor and gear and weapons, I'm ready to kill everything. Now, I'm going to make a video on me killing the first wild hunt, warrior or mage, whatever it is, when you go with Kira into the cavern. You definitely don't want to go to that cavern right away at the game. It gives you the option. That wild hunt will put the hurt on you. Now, I do not play anything on easy level. This is all normal level. We experienced players, we would sooner cut the you-know-what off or we went and played something on easy level. So when I get beat, I adapt, I think, and come back and play it different. You're going to watch how I come back on this boss battle of all time and beat it. All right, you follow him out to the middle of the woods. He's like he did in the Isle of Bike. Uh, he's going to make that fire and call the race. And it's the same thing as Lamb. I thought, this is going to be easy. I couldn't have been more wrong. I spent at least 30 minutes. At least. And you're not going to have to watch the 30 minutes. I cut all my videos. It's, I'm not a watch me player. I'm going to show you how I learned to fix it, not get killed by the AI again, and beat the game. Now this battle is going to be at midnight. That's the only time he summons those spirits. So the first play around here, these pyres are going to light three of them, I think. And the mini map will urge you to keep lighting them back up as they go out, as he's trying to call the ghosts. I didn't even bother. I'm just running around having a ball, being the boss, saying, get some, get some, and killing these things. You're going to watch what the AI does to me, because I did that. There they are. Now, when you're trying to light these pyres, these stone urns, when the race come next to you, your girl's going to spin around and face them. So when you're trying to light them, either hit the X, use Igni, or fire stream, either of the three. Girl keeps spinning around, and the race starts attacking them. You're going to see it. What a mob. It reminds me of a barroom fight. Just a big, giant melee. The very thing I always try to avoid playing girl. There's one. It's like very easy. I thought this is going to be easy. <laughs> it is the toughest battle in the Witcher 3 game. I know, I know the pros. So they'll, they'll make comment. Oh, I did it in 10 minutes. It was super easy. But that's not me. So the first thing I'm going to do here is when they all activate and they start arriving, he's going to put the bustling blood on his face. Now that is gross. There's nothing like playing The Witcher 3 for the first time. I'm so jealous of you get new guys having that. Nothing like playing a game that's not, doesn't full of flaws. It's not full of flaws like Cyberpunk is. Now watch, I'm just fighting and rolling around. I'm having fun. Because my armor is enchanted and then my swords are enchanted. And in this, my swords are going to get dull. My um, specter oil on my erandite is going to disappear. That's how long this is. I literally have to put it on twice. Now if I'd have kept doing this, just 
fighting the race, I wouldn't, it wouldn't go nowhere. I just, the AI will keep killing me. So I had to adapt and change. So when you get your butt beat, this is, this is for you new guys, not the pros. You get your butt beat, you want to think, what can you do different as the game's reloading? So I'm going to show you guys and girls what I did different. Now most of these I, I took out. Now I have, I'm trying to get the oil, put the oil on it again. I did. I had all these cut out. I cut them out. I don't like that. Show me changing stuff. That's that's nuts. All right. Now look. See my health. There it went. You see that? They weren't killing me. So I went back and I just put on cat. Well, something happened with my audio. This is gonna get loud now. So see how I hit him and I lit the I lit the fire to earn. See, I would try to light it to hit X, and look at Swallow now. Now, even though I took Swallow, they're putting her on. This went on for another 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, my audio messed up on this. I don't know why. It's one clip. At the beginning of the audio, you can barely hear it. Now, you, you're going to have a lot of audio. I understand, I use a $15 microphone. This channel cost me $75. You guys can make your own channel, so $75. Just a little more than what a game costs. All right, notice how I'm starting to dump them back. Another one spawn right back again. See, they're putting a the hurting on me. Because I'm trying to use Igni because I can't hit X. It won't let me light it like a, like a candle. It won't let me light it. Because as soon as I get near one, watch it swarm right on you. So I'm doing a combination of the two. It's going to be a long run, kill the race, and try to spin around any night. And I'm telling you, it's not easy. And one side of the rock platforms that goes around is above the ground. So you can't walk over to it. You only come on the back side. I'm not worried about my health drop because it's a slow, steady, and by lighting the pyres, it's a slow, steady drop. By lighting the pyres, I'm not going to be killed by AI again. So I'm going to win this. It's like I can't, I can't line up and light it. All right, there goes my there goes my armor. Now I got a minute. I'm gonna light them up. That my swords are dull. These are enchanted now. Enchanted armor and sword. They put a hurting on me. So if you guys go in there in regular gear, plenty of oil. Keep back up armor and swords and switch. Don't bother trying to repair your armor in the middle of the game. So I won. That was it. The last thing's done. In the second here, they're going to bite the dust. Notice how they're slacking down? Every player loves a challenge. And after playing the game for so long, nothing really challenges me. So it was very exciting to play this. I realized, man, I haven't been beat up in so long. Knock them down. I'm not even going to repair my armor. See, I want to see. He keeps he keeps spinning around. When they spawn, he spins around. And I'm finally on it. I hit it with Igni. I'm gonna hit the next one. See, he keeps spinning around. I can't get the guy to line up. I gave up on X. Like lighting the candle. It's just, it's just, the rays are bouncing all over the place. All right, there it is. Got him. Help back up to the swallow. See my toxicity? Bottom up to the max. Well, now I know. I'm getting an edge on this. 
There's no way that there's no way the AI should kill me now. I'll tell you guys what, it is a battle. Just for the fact that Gale spins around. Oh, on that green screen, I should have popped that out. Gale spins around, you're trying to light the darn things and you can't light them. All right, there it is. You get it? As soon as you think they're not spawning around, there goes my sword. I repaired my armor. This is an armor repair kit. My apologies for that green screen. Usually I added them all out. But this video was a beast, just like the battle. So I came in as a boss saying I'm whooping everybody's butt. Ended up getting beat up pretty darn good. So there it is, finally. I'm going, man, what a fight. Blood summons me. Just a bit further, Mom. Hold on. Blood leaves her face. So he's going to find out now. Stop her. I am a drop on a web. I think where the daughter went. Not Anna. Dark blood carries the question down river. Why do you seek the child of Elder Blood? So seeing him do this got a little bit more respect for him. I consider him a daughter old part in the village who killed his own father. It's pretty cool. Are you all right? <laughs> yes. Just shows when you play this game five thousand hours, four or five thousand hours, seven years, over. you never see it all. It's done. The pen has seen what he was meant to say. I only asked for the third one. Third edition. I didn't bother with the others. They were walking through the woods both weak, but for different it reasons. It works. Yet both knew where they were going. I'm not sure I heard you right, but you mentioned a Voitek. Hope fills both their So he wanted me to walk him home. I walked him home expecting another battle. Nothing happened. But I'm looking at Geralt in front of his hut, and I'm going, man, he is beat to death. <laughs> Everything's beat up. My swords are dull, armor's shredded. I've got to go see a blacksmith. So I say till daylight. I've been in nighttime for so long with these battles. See my swords dull. Even though you see the top of the corner that it stays sharp, a hard a hard battle will dull those swords. All right, so I'm. He sends me to the fisherman's hut. Now I know this is where Anna goes where her daughter goes to the Novigrad, excuse me, and it wanders off into the witches. So I know where I'm at in the game. Now it's good to go. You guys, good luck. If I was you, I'd save the Boma Clod. I wouldn't fight it. All right, you guys keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next video.